My dad's friend shaped me one of my first boards, and it's probably like five or something. Yeah, my dad would show us, show me like the basics. I just wanted to learn how to hand shape, and it's that way you could show up anywhere and like make a surfboard with just your hands. Doing it just for fun and a lifestyle, and you know, like shaker is downstairs, ways are here, and like, why wouldn't you do it? You know. Kind of has to do everything. I mean, we've all had those magic boards that can do everything, so they sh should do everything. Well, I think having you know a board that paddles good, a board that will make the drop on steep critical drops. It kind of has a really pulled in tail with a little wider nose, so it was kind of like, let's try that. Yeah, I ride for I ride for Luke Studer surfboards, and he'll shape anything too. Kind of like Daniel's, kind of like that too. Anything you want him to shape, he'll he'll do. And so it's good to work with people that are open-minded, you know. Yeah, kind of like the medium volume because Nicole's a bit bigger than me, so something in between that we could both ride. So it's kind of like a step up for me. So that's why I like the pintail, and it's kind of his sharp board, so the wing kind of helps it pivot right there. That was good for me and short board for him. My dad, I think he probably shaped and glass on like 100 boards in the 70s, but this was his logo that he made for himself. So Surfline had a big arrow, and then um, Lightning Bolt had a big Lightning Bolt. I don't know, that was the era, so. I like the history of surfing, and I was all in Hawaii in the 70s, and that's when my dad was here making boards, so I had to run with it on um, most of my boards now. Pass something down, you know, from him. Mm -hmm.